Lord. Praise the Lord, saints. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Amen. I'm sure everybody in here know me. I am Pastor Jamie Bryan, the true deliverance Christian Son. Amen. And I want to give honor to the Spirit of Christ. Amen. I thank God for allowing me to be alive today. Amen. I give God all praise, honor, and glory. Amen. I thank God for my lovely wife. Amen. I thank God for my kids, praise God. For the members of True Deliverance, praise God. And I thank God for the Spirit of Jesus, amen. Bishop Robinson, amen. The next man Robinson, amen. And the members of the Spirit of Jesus, amen. And everybody in a respectful place, amen. All the missionaries, saints, and friends, amen. Whatever title you may hold, I honor you and thank God for you tonight, amen. Now, I know they had said, don't be up here, you know, all night. So I'm not going to be up here all night. Take your time, you home. Really? Take your time. I'm not going to be up here all night. But I just want to do what God has called me to do, and then we're going to get on out of here. Amen? Amen. So, um, let's pray. Amen. 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 Please stand. Hallelujah. 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 Yes, thank Hallelujah. You. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Lord, we praise you. Lord, we magnify you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Heavenly Father, we give you praise, honor, and glory. Lord, we thank you for this is the day that you have made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. God, we thank you for opening up the people's ears, God. Let yes. them hear what you would have them to hear, God. Yes. We thank you for opening up their eyes so they can see what you would have them to see. Yes. In the name of Jesus, God, don't let anyone leave out of here disappointed, God. We say, Holy Ghost, have your way, God. Tonight, there's going to be deliverance. Hallelujah. There's going to be healing. Hallelujah. God, we thank you for your saving power. In the name of Jesus, God. God, let your anointing flow like never before, God. God, let your spirit increase Hallelujah. and let my flesh decrease in the name of Jesus. Jesus. And we bind every hindering spirit that's trying to come against God's people tonight. Yes. We bind it and we send it back to the pits of hell in the name of Jesus. And we just say, Holy Ghost, have your way. Let your anointing saturate sanctuary like never before. We give you praise, honor, and glory in Jesus' name. Amen, amen, amen. amen. You may be seated. You may be seated. Glory to God. Lord, I thank you. Glory. Hallelujah. Um, tonight, we're going, we're going to be coming from Philippians. If somebody can get you Philippians 1, and if you can be so kind as to read Philippians 1 through the 6th verse. Don't all volunteer at once. Amen. Philippians 1. Philippians 1, verse 1 through 6. If you have it, say amen. Amen. Hold on. If you need to say hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Philippians chapter 1. Yeah. Verse 1 through 6. Yes, sir. Paul and Phineos, the servant of Jesus Christ, to all the saints in Christ Jesus, which are at Philippi, with the bishops and deacons, grace be unto you, and peace from God our Father. And from the Lord Jesus Christ, I thank my God upon every remembrance of you, always in every prayer of mine, for you all making requests with joy. For your fellowship in the gospel from the first day until now, being confident of this very thing, that he which hath begun 
a good work in you will perform it until the day of Jesus Christ. So I want you to read verse Amen. six one more time. Yes, sir. It says, being confident of this very thing, that he which hath begun a good work in you will perform it until the day of Jesus Christ. Right. Amen, 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 amen. Now I came here tonight to tell you, saints of God, that God has begun working you and he's going to finish it. Amen. Yes. So let's talk about some stuff, amen. Because you know when I come, I like to talk about some stuff. Yes. Because amen. we need to help each other, amen? amen. Because we should not be going through this same cycle all the time. Amen. 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 So let's talk about some stuff. Now the Bible says that he who has begun a good work in you, good amen, work, a good, good work. work. So let's talk about this good work, yes, amen. Sir. Let's talk about this thing okay. tonight, praise God. Now, so many times people get it twisted, praise God. They think it's their work. Well, I want to do X, Y, and I would say he who has begun a good work. That means that God put that thing in you. You didn't yeah. put that thing in yourself. Amen. So stop trying to call for some stuff that God didn't even yeah. touch, amen. And so what we need to understand, praise God, is that if there is a good work that is going to be done in us, we have to do what, God, people, we have to surrender. Yes. Amen. Amen. We have to surrender. Thank you know what is so hard being a Christian? Loose this here microphone. Amen. You know what's so hard being a Christian? Right. It's still going out. Give me right. another microphone. Right. Hallelujah. You know what's so hard? We fight against what God has for us. Amen. We fight against the will of God in our life. When, we, when God is telling us something, we're saying, no, God, that's too much. No, God, I don't want that right now. Oh, I see what you take me, but that's not where I want to go. And that's not what God wants for us. God Amen. wants us to surrender. surrender. God wants us to be humble. Yeah. Because when you surrender, he can use you. Yeah. When you surrender, he can flow. And he can allow you to be a blessing to other people. But we hold up by ourselves. And you know how we hold up by ourselves? Because we're trying to stop the work that God has begun in us. Lord. God has begun a good thing in us, but we're trying to stop it. Yeah. You know why? Because circumstances don't feel right. The situation around you is just not right. And as long as the situation is not right, you say, well, you know what? It's not time for me to be in ministry. It's not time for me to be married. It's not time for me to have a business. But God started this good work inside of you, amen. When you became saved and received Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, that good work started, amen. And now what you're doing is you're hindering that good work based on your circumstances, amen. See, everybody, when, when stuff is going good, it's so easy to say, Oh, bless the name of the Lord. But when all hell is breaking loose, what is you going? What are you going to say? I'm going to use proper Lord, English tonight. I promise. Glory, amen. Glory, amen. Glory, amen. Glory. Let me tell y'all something what happened uh, just today. Today I woke up and I tell you, I say, okay, something gonna have to give because today I woke up with my truck didn't want to work. I was trying to get a haircut. I told my mom, I said, well, I just come to church without getting a haircut. She said, oh, no, boy. I'm not saying, now, how you looking? Oh, no, you got to find a way to get a haircut. I've been up and running around and running around and running around, and I had to stop, and I said, you know what, God? It's okay. Everything is okay. God, whatever you are doing, I'm okay with it. I didn't get upset today. I was proud of myself. I didn't get upset. I didn't cuss nobody out. I didn't yell at nobody. I just went on however it happened. It's how it happened. Because one thing that I have learned, when the enemy tries to distract you, that means God has something better for you. Amen? And when God has something better for you, and the enemy is trying to distract you, God is saying, you know what? I started this work in you. That means if I started this work in you, I gave you the ability to endure what the enemy is throwing at you. And as long as you can recognize that this is the enemy throwing this throwing the stuff at you. You don't have to worry about it. You don't have to get upset. It's okay. You don't have to start crying and screaming. You don't have to do it. Because when the enemy is throwing stuff at you, he's saying, let me get you off track. Let me get your mind so boggled down that you forget the God that you serve. So what I had to do in the midst of all my aggravation today, I just say, God, you are so good. God, you are so worthy. God, I love you. I had to turn that situation into a praise break, amen. And that's what we need to do. We need to stop letting the enemy beat the hell out of us, and we got to turn around and give God a praise break. When your bank account is in the negative, you still got 
got to praise God. When your husband and your wife is acting up, you still got to praise God. When your children don't want to be obedient, you still have to praise God. When people walk out on you, you still have to praise God. Because you don't understand that God has started a good work in you. So the people walking out of your life, the people trying to aggravate you, your co-workers talking about you, that's trying to stop you from surrendering to God so he can complete the good work that's in you. It's all a distraction. What the enemy tries to do is distract you guys. He already know the blessing that God has for y'all. But what we do, we, 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 we surrender to the enemy instead of surrendering to God. Because God has told us some great things. God has started some great things in us. But you know what? Oh, it, it don't look right. Don't nobody want to come to church when I preach, so I don't want to be in the ministry. And don't nobody want to hear me sing, so I don't want to sing. And I don't want to start my business because people are going to call me a failure. It doesn't matter. Who are you putting your trust in? You need to put your trust in God. Because the Bible says, he who has started a good work in you. He has started a good work in you. So that good work that he has started in you, the devil don't like it. Because he know if you continue to grow in God, he know if you continue to build that relationship with God, he know the stronger that you get, the stronger that your spiritual man become, he know he got hell on his hand. See, the enemy should be afraid of y'all. Y'all should not be afraid of the enemy. It's time, thanks to God, it is 2019. We don't have time to be falling out of the flow and foaming out the mouth just because something bad don't happen. When something happens, you say, God, you know what? You must be doing something great. Hallelujah. You must be doing something great in my life. When no troubles walk out on you, good riddance. I almost see his phone. Get the step and hallelujah. Hallelujah. When no people on your job say, we don't need you no more, well, that means something better is coming. Hallelujah. Don't you be crying over no job. God said, I supply all your needs. Who are you going to put your trust in? You need to put your trust into the Lord. Hallelujah. You don't need to be burdened down and worried about the stuff that's going on. Who are you putting your trust in? Put your trust in the Lord. Hallelujah. We get so confused about it. I don't have everything that I want. I don't have the house. I don't have the car. I don't have the education. Did God tell you you needed that stuff? Did God let me tell y'all something about some people? They so educated till they stupid. They so educated till they stupid. They try to use all these big words and don't nobody know what they talking about. How are you helping the people when don't nobody know what you talking about? Then you want to get on the microphone and use all these words that 17 letters and 20 letters that people can't spell. They trying to write down words so they can go home and Google it. You're not helping the people of God. Sometimes you just got to make it simple and you got to make it clear. Amen. Simple and clear. Stop trying to be so educated till you just a big old dummy. Because you're not doing what God told you to do. You're doing that stuff so people can look at you and say, well, when he get up, he say some stuff I ain't never heard of. I know you right. I know you right. That's not the good work that God started in you. But let me tell you how you can identify the good work. Um, we was having the Bible study, praise God. We was talking about the gifts of the Spirit. Amen. And the thing about the gifts of the Spirit is... People operate in the gifts, but then sometimes you don't know what they're really doing. See, when you operate in the spirit of God, amen, it should show the fruits of the spirit, amen. So when you operate in the spiritual gifts, it should be showing some love, amen. It should be showing some patience, amen. It should be showing some joy, some long suffering. No, y'all want to get up here on all these titles. Well, prophet, this, and, and pastor, and teacher, and apostle, and all this stuff. And I can prophesy, and I got the gift of teaching, and I got this, and I got that. But your gift is not exemplifying love. Your gift is not exemplifying joy. So that means that that work that you think has been started in you, that's not a good work. Because it's not exhibiting the characteristics of God. It's exhibiting your flesh. Because you want to get a microphone and make yourself known. But you ain't talking about Jesus. You you ain't telling people to praise the Lord. You ain't telling people about the man that died for them and the man that can save them. No, you want to get up and talk about you. It's time out for that. So, saints of God, you have to examine yourself. If you realize that you're talking about yourself more than you're talking about God, it's a problem. Yeah. That ain't the work that God started in you. Because God is not going to start working you and he have you 
talking about yourself 99.9% of the time. Amen? Amen? So let me explain something to y'all, saints of God. Whatever the work that God has started in you, amen? I already said that the work started when you became saved and you received Jesus Christ, amen? That means when we receive Jesus, we also receive what, saints of God? We receive power. Come on now. Now, I know y'all know. Nah, no.
You are the head and not the tail. Right. You are above and not beneath. You the lender and not the borrower. Thank you. Now you know what the word of God say. Did you look at your bank account and say, I ain't got no money. Yeah. Now you just sit there and put that out in the atmosphere that you yeah. ain't got no money. Yeah. And that's what you gonna go on. So when you talking to somebody like, man, I ain't got no money. I bank account in the negative, it's in the red. I owe oh, Bank of America, I owe TD Bank, whoever all these banks are, I owe, I owe them money. But you not claiming and you not proclaiming what the word of God say. Even though your bank account may not be looking right, you still have to say, I am the head and not the tail. I am above and not beneath. I am the lender and not the borrower. You have to speak what the word of God says. If you don't speak the word of God, you won't know that it works. You know why you know what the bad stuff, you know why you know that that works? Because we repeat it all the time. I'm so unhappy. Don't nobody like me. The people on my job talk about me. My kids just don't want to listen. The church folk don't like me. This, you're just going on and on and on and on and on. First you standing up and saying, you know what? My kids ain't acting right, but God covered them under the blood. I thank you. I thank you for renewing their mind, God. The people on my job talk about me, God. I thank you for shutting their mouth, God. God, I thank you for making a way out of nowhere. My, my, my bank account is not right, amen. My health isn't right. My family is right. But God, I just thank you for working everything out that's not right. God, I thank you for working things out. Yes. Glory to God. But we like to sit here and say, oh, woe is me. Woe is me. Woe is me. Lord Jesus. Me? I don't have, I don't have, I need, I want. Let me, I was having a conversation, I think it was during Bible study, and I said, we're some real funny people because we ask God to do this, make this, break this, shift this, hold this, remove this, and all this kind of stuff, and we don't do nothing. We just sit there. We can give God all these commands. God, move, shake them, loose them, cut them, do all this stuff, and you don't do nothing. You just sit here. You're not applying the word of God. You're not activating your faith. You just giving God all these commands. But well, our prayer sound like I don't know what it is. Like, God, I need you to move. I need you to remove. I need you to build. I need you to unblock. I need you know, you got all these commands for God. And you just sitting there. You just sitting there. You not applying the word of God. You not you not saying what God said you should be saying. And that's the problem. And that's why. That's why the enemy is beating you down because you're so fixated on what the enemy is doing. You have to change your mindset, saints of God. You have to listen and do what thus say the Lord. Don't worry about what the enemy is doing because he's doing his job. He is doing his job. So if he's doing his job, you as saints have to do your job. I say that every time I come here because we have to do our job. It's yes. so disheartening to see the saints of God just so burdened down. And you like, are you not listening on Sunday mornings? Are you not listening to Bible study? Do you not read the word for yourself? Don't blame the leaders. You got to put this on yourself. Right, right. What are you reading? Are you applying what you're reading? Amen. Come on, y'all. Y'all can't see and keep on saying the enemy beat the hell up out of y'all. The enemy should be fleeing. When you open up your mouth, you have power. You have power to make that enemy flee. If you are sick in your body, you have power to speak healing. Whatever is not right in your life, you have power to speak to the atmosphere for it to change. So you have to understand that you have power. So that work that God has started in you, God, people of God, you have to humble yourself, surrender, and allow that work to continue. Because the Bible says it's going to continue. That means you're not perfect. He's going to continue to work on you. He's going to continue to work on you. And all the stuff that you're going through, it's just building your character. It's just making you stronger. It's making you realize the God that you serve, that the power comes from him. We can't do nothing without God. We can't do nothing when we need to humble ourselves. We stop being so high-minded. Stop saying, oh, it's all about me. It's all about me because everybody got to see me. And we got to surrender to the will of God. Yes. We got to get in position to receive what God has for us. Yes. So I'm trying to tell you, saints of God, I'm almost done. I'm trying to tell you, saints of God, 
Don't allow the enemy to continue to throw stuff in your face. Just as soon as he throws something in your face, you throw it right back at him. Use yeah. the word of God. Y'all, yeah. stop coming in here Glory. crying. Stop coming in here so burdened down. You don't want to praise God. You can't sleep at night. That's not what God called you for. That's, right. That's not the abundant life that That's God right. called you. God That's wants right. you to have joy in your joy. life. God said, I want you to be happy. The world wants you to think that God is going to beat you up and make no, you feel don't. bad. No, no we all know what our sins are. Amen. We don't need people to count and sit there and point out our sins. We know what we're doing wrong. We, we don't need you. But what we need to do is we need to show love because that love can draw the correction. Amen. Yes. We need to exemplify yes. love because when yes. people see the God in you, they'll be like, you know what? I want some of what they got. Yes. What is that? Yes. That? And that's how you start that conversation and you draw them into Jesus. Amen. But if you want to walk around here like you the big bad wolf, people are going to run from you and you ain't doing nothing for the kingdom of God. Yes. So I, want, I came here tonight to tell y'all, I'm to hurry up and say it all real, real fast so they won't talk about it. I want you to understand that God has started a good work in you. Don't let nobody change that. Don't let nobody tell you anything different. Amen. God has started a good work. It don't matter. He, God blessed the murderers. He blessed, he blessed the cussers. He, if everybody was not perfect, there was nobody perfect. Amen. But we said, oh, I'm not ready. God said, stop saying you're not ready. Just receive me. Yeah. Yeah. Stop hiding from your calling and just receive me. Let me do the work because he's going to do the work. Your gift is nothing without God. Nothing. You Amen. have no power, no Amen. nothing. I cannot prophesy. I can't lay hands. I can't do nothing without the power of God. Amen. Amen. That goes for you too. There's nothing that can happen without the power of God. So y'all have to understand that. So the good work that God has started in you, remember, allow God to do the work. And it's not over. Just because stuff doesn't look right, it's not over. Not over. You Show continue up. to allow God to continue to move. Loose your microphone. You continue and to allow God Jesus. to move Jesus. and work in your life. So Bro, you don't have to be burning down. Something. You don't have to be sick in your body. You don't have to be busting and disgusting in the press. I bind depression. Yes. I didn't call you to be depressed. Amen. I didn't call you to be sick. We got to claim these things. Amen. Yes. rejoice and be glad in it. God, we thank you for your children right now in the name of Jesus. God, and we ask that you send your angels to be a captive about around them to keep them from all hurt, harm, and danger. God, as the school year starts, God, let the teachers be astonished of what they're doing in school, God. God, we thank you for higher grades right now in the name of Jesus. We bind every unclean spirit that's trying to talk and attack these children right now in the name of Jesus. We bind that spirit of bullying right now 
in the name of Jesus. And we speak that they should have a peaceful school year in the name of Jesus. God, we thank you for taking them higher and higher, God. God, we thank you for opening up doors to them right now in the name of Jesus. God, we thank you for building up their self-esteem right now in the name of Jesus. God, we thank you for stirring up their gifts right now in the name of Jesus. God, we ask you to have your way, God, in their life right now in the name of Jesus. Wrap your arms around them, God. Let them feel your love right now in the name of Jesus. And we find depression right now in the name of Jesus. We find suicide right now in the name of Jesus. And we release joy right now in the name of Jesus. We release love right now in the name of Jesus. And they should have peace in their home right now in the name of Jesus. There shall be no school shooters from this day forward, God. We decree and declare that our children are safe, God. In the name of Jesus, let your anointing move in their life like never before, God. God, keep them safe from all hurt, harm, and danger, God. God, anybody that doesn't need them any good, send them the other way. In the name of Jesus, God. God, we just thank you for elevating them, God. God, we thank you for the straight A's and the B's right now. In the name of Jesus, God. God, we thank you for scholarships being released right now. Now, in the name of Jesus, Jesus. And we thank you for allowing them to bring people to you in the name of Jesus, Jesus. God. Let your light shine in their life like never before, God. God, and as they sleep tonight, God, give them a peaceful night's sleep, God. God, and show them in dreams what you would have them to do. In the name of Jesus, God. God, we bind fear right now in the name of Jesus. Whatever they are fearful of, we bind it and we send it back to the pits of hell right now in the name of Jesus. Of Jesus, God, and we just thank you in advance for the things that you want to do, God. God, we thank you in advance for this. We want the best years that they have ever had in the name of Jesus, God. So as y'all go to school, children, I don't want y'all to be thinking about no active shooter. I want y'all to go to school to learn. I want y'all to go to school to get y'all education. Y'all go to school to enjoy what the teachers have for y'all. Y'all do not have to live in fear. Amen. I want y'all to be obedient to y'all teachers and be obedient to your parents, amen, because when you yes. are obedient, God can bless you in your yes. obedience, amen, so I want you to lift your hands right now, all of you lift your hands, amen. lift your hands in the air, amen, hallelujah, oh, yeah. everybody lift your hands, if I said I was going to give you a million dollars, you would have your hands to the roof, lift your hands right now in the name of Jesus, and say, I believe it, I believe it, and I receive it, and I receive it, in Jesus' name, in Jesus' name, it is done, hallelujah, Go back to Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Power to the Holy Spirit. Yes. Power. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Yes. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Before I take my seat, was there anybody Hallelujah. that wanted to pray? Amen. Thank you, Lord. Power to the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Thank